Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Today is Vlogmas Day 4. So today we're going to be showing number 4 on the ornaments. I have my other three hanging over here. I need to bring it a little closer so you can see it. But I've got my salt monkey and my gingerbread and my stick horse over there hanging out on the tree. So this one that I'm going to show you is uh, another special one for me. And it's mostly because I'm surrounded by them. <laughs> Um, my husband and his family about 40 years ago planted these here not exactly this type but I'm surrounded by pine trees and so I've got thousands of them around me here so but anyway this is what I have for today a little cedar tree it's called rag doll Christmas tree and it is a, a free pattern and I've cannot pronounce the uh, designer's name so i'll put a link down below in the description box so you, if you'd like to check it out but this was so easy and very quick simple to do and um, i can't remember i think this was like uh, this is hobby lobby i love this yarn in a uh, lime green because i wanted to do something a little different on the color wise put a different a little bit of a brighter color on the tree and then this is the uh, toasted almond and then this just mainstay yellow. And then it called for little safety eyes. And I think these are like size six. And then just whip stitched. It's a little face. But I think it turned out so cute. Really easy. This would be really cute hanging on um, a gift bag or, you know, package or whatever. Or just, you know, laying around propped up against something. But it's a really cute uh, ornament, I believe. But anyway, I'll, it's free on our blog, and I'll put a link down below to uh, to it if you'd like to try one out. And I will, yeah, I'm sure I'll be making more of these. <laughs> okay, the next one I want to show you is just a, uh, a Santa that I had picked up at my favorite antique store. And now whether he's old or not, I'm not really sure. I don't know if he's vintage, but I fell in love with him whenever I saw him, and um if you, it's, it reminds me of paper mache, but I don't think it's paper. I think they did it with uh, fabric, but he feels like paper mache. <laughs> but anyway, here he is, <laughs> my old Santa. But I think he's really cute, and I couldn't pass it up. I think she had him for like $7 on clearance, and I thought, oh, I've got to have him. So, but it, I think it's fabric. And I guess they did some kind of glue like you do with paper mache. But his little face is, you know, furry and got the little fur around the hat. And it's got a little pom-pom here. But I'm sure his face is, I guess it's paper. I don't know. But I just think he's cute. And I couldn't pass him up. He's got a little bag there. Thought about crocheting something. That little tree would be kind of cute sticking out of there, I guess. <laughs> But anyway, I thought he was cute, and then he's got a little, uh, a little, I don't know what you'd call that, a belt or something with bells on it? I don't know. But anyway, he's cute. But anyway, that was my little find I wanted to show you. I, uh, I got him last year at, like I said, my favorite antique store. All right, well, I guess that's all I'm going to show you for today. I'm going to hop off here and look for another ornament. I've got one in mind and I hope I can find it. I feel like I'm yelling. I need to, <laughs> I'm used to being outside doing my videos and further back. So I'm sorry if I seem like I'm yelling, but I've got our visitors here with us and got my kitty cat back here somewhere. He's staying nice and toasty and my other one's up there. But anyway, I'm going to hop off here and I hope you guys have a wonderful blessed evening and I will be seeing you tomorrow on Vlogmas 5.